Ahead of the official handover tomorrow, as part of China's 18th National Party Congress, I am continuing our in-depth series looking at China and its politics. The first thing the country's new leaders will face is an increasingly difficult task to maintain the economic growth that has seen it become the second richest country in the world. The political handover comes amid large gaps between rich and poor in many parts of the country. 79-year-old farmer Tsai Langwing is one of 300 million people in China who still live off the land. He said that life has improved in the past 10 years, but that he still earned far less than those in the city. He said, we can't compare with anybody else, but if we compare our own situation now with that before, it is better, many times better. Of course we can't compare with big cities, for example on income. Those people earn several thousand yuan a month, but we only earn two or three thousand yuan a year. The difference is huge. Despite China prospering in the last 10 years, it has not emerged unscathed from the global economic crisis. Slowing growth has led to increasing complaints in the country over the pace of political reform. Whilst people such as Tai struggle to live off the land, the wealthy political elite have been accused by media outlets such as the New York Times of corruption and hypocrisy. Economist Mao Yushi warned that if China's economic growth continued to fall and those in power refused to change their ways, then the new regime would soon run into trouble. He then added, if the rate of economic growth falls, and I mean this is highly likely, then unemployment and income problems among the common people, combined with the government's abuse of power and other issues, will surely create problems for them. And it is believed this widening wealth gap could lead to mass unrest in the country and threaten the level of control the once mighty party state currently holds. If the Communist Party is to keep the people happy, then they will need to find a way of doing more social good with less economic growth. I'm Ann Salter, thanks for watching. Follow us for the very latest coverage of China's 18th National Party Congress as the country undergoes this historic regime change.